another generation, and here's Pete Weber. Left a four pin on the left lane. And he smooth. Oh, one of the smooth. Thus far, Bo really hasn't. Oh, he does. He knows he, he has the advantage. Yes. Look at that. 271 average for three games. Missed the record by two pins. He just never lets, lets up. He's had now 30 strikes. surprised seemed like he picked up a little more speed causing the pin to rise a little bit and wrap around the neck of the 10 pin there again showing you the scores 278 279 257 incredible advising to jump on this strike right now. Oh, he's high. He's high. All right. Pete Weber now going for the six pin. Gets it. Mm. Another 10 for Nelson. Watch how Bo does it. And like we say, well, how does he do it? Very Very close final match. Disaster just hit this 21-year-old professional. Here it is. Ten pin left after a solid hit. Whether he hurried it, too much speed, stuck at the line. Well, the end result, an open frame. Hurry the shot, Chris. Hurry the shot. And a little fatherly advice. I just advise him to move right. There's a 3-6 attempt now. I bowled Nelson Burt Jr. when he was 21 years of mm -hmm. age. Luckily beating. In the pocket, a double. So a three-bagger. Manager, bad break. Wobbly 10. Yes. Oh, Pete. Pete. He's rushing the fouling, Chris. Yeah, he really yeah, is. He knows it. He just. Uh... Another 10 for Nelson Burke. While we were away, Pete Weber, gritty Pete, came back with a double. But Nelson Burton Jr., who is seemingly on his way to his fourth consecutive rec record or uh, victory here today, has just broken a four-game record held by Larry Lobb of 10-21, four games in Kansas City in 1972. Incredible performance by this pro. This is a professional performance. I guess uh, in this Olympic year, it's a year to have records broken. So you're looking at the man that is the Angle Open champion, his 17th championship, but a record set for four games. He had to win four of them in order to, in his hometown, win $20,000 in the trophy. He shot a 236 to go along with his other big scores, 278, 279. And 257. So, once again, the winner is Nelson Burton Jr., and we congratulate our colleague and thank Dick Weber for pulling in. Thank you. Stay tuned next for our continuing coverage of the 14th.